and then into my adult life I kept singing and, and now here I am now with my own children and we're singing so I'm really excited to hear about your journey <laughs> and, and what singing you know kind of meant to you and your family and how mm. it, it kind of started so maybe yeah. you start with just telling us all a little bit about yourself yeah okay no <laughs> so yeah like I guess when I was growing up, I was in a family that had great respect for our history and a great knowledge of it and great uh, love for music, you know. So even my grandmother, like she <laughs> she wasn't a singer, but she'd be going around and like she might be remembering like little melodies from her childhood and things and singing them like her, you know, and in a fun kind of a way. So that's this project, uh, chatting with people, finding out how those roots, those seeds really, where they were planted. Yeah, yeah. Here, what was your mom's name and your grandmother's name? Yeah, so Mary is my mother's name and okay. Bridget is my yeah. grandmother, rest her soul. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm. do, do you recall um, a particular song or a rhyme, anything from from that time um, that yeah. you can remember singing with them? Yeah, so like I remember from my grandmother, she often loved to sing uh, the one, I am a little beggar man and beggar I have been for three score or more on this little isle of green. I walk from the lippy down to the zoo and I go by the name of all Johnny Do. <laughs> and she used to go around saying that. She more said it, I guess, than singing it, but I just always remembered it, like the rhyme bit, and she'd go around saying it. And, you know, little things like that they'd have had. And then I remember my mother telling me the story of my great-grandmother used to sing, Dilly no doubt so does, Dilly no doubt so she used to go around singing that as well so little things like that were you know part of it as well but I remember also like the great respect for the historical songs you know um that was the other thing too that that you I was aware of that kind of weight that went with those songs that you know that it was important they were important they were something kind of you know that should be uh kept alive in that way that we wouldn't forget our history and So hi, Margaret and Dylan and, and Joe. How are you all today? Are you well? We're well, thanks. It's great to see you and I'm delighted that you've come along to chat with me today. So we're here today really to chat about recitations. And we have Joe O'Connor here with us. Um, and Joe, uh, I've the pleasure over the years to have listened to Joe um, on his wonderful recitations and his own compositions. And then we have Dylan O'Connor. Dylan Corey here from County Clare too and his mom Margaret. And I was mighty impressed at someone so young taking on um, something so important. Um, can you tell me when that all came about? How did that happen? Well, I think it all really started going to our speech and drama in, in, um, uh, uh, in, in the parish. In the parish. And at the end of the year, you'd have to recite a poem. Okay. And I loved it. Okay. How old are you now? I am 11 years old. 11. Okay. So what you've been doing up to now have kind of, you like the humorous ones, the humorous um, yeah. written verse. Okay. So, so when myself and Joe were, were chatting about one that you might like to take up from Joe and, and learn, um, it is, it's a bit more of a serious one. It's a lament for the late Robbie McMahon. Um, so maybe we'll um, chat with Joe about that wonderful uh, recitation. Um, Joe, the late Robbie McMahon has come up in this project three times through um, the Lilters were mentioning him um, as we listen to him on the Irish Traditional Music Archive, um, Lilting and through Traditional <laughs> Song. And he was a dear friend of yours and, and you had the pleasure of, of knowing Robbie rather well. Um, is there anything in particular that um, you could tell Dylan about Robbie and myself because I never had the pleasure of meeting Robbie McMahon. I first met Robbie, oh my God, um, when I was quite young. I was probably about Dylan's age. And my father introduced me to him at Flacchio and we remained best friends for, I suppose, 50 years. And um, he won all Ireland's or singing for lilting and for newly composed songs and when he died in 
2012, December 2012, I was asked to um, speak at his graveside. Hi Liam, hi Noel, how are you? Hello. Hello Rachel. It's great to have you here with, I'm delighted that you're coming to chat with me today. Uh, okay. uh, Noel, music would have been in your family. That's right, uh, Rachel. <clears throat> my uh, my dad and my granddad, they, they all played the fiddle okay. and my aunts as well, they all played music and uh, there was a lot of music in the house when we were growing up. Okay. And your dad, was your dad in a Cayley band over in Clare? Yeah, he 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 played in the the Inchy Cronin Cayley band oh, right. back in the early eighties. Okay. okay. And uh, would have played with Martin Hayes. Was very young at the time. He was in that band and um, Francie Donlan and uh, there was a few of the Donlans in it. And um, you know there was there was Garo with O'Halloran was there as well. Okay. As you know, Claire. And um, they they went to the All Ireland up in Bundoran, I think. Okay. And they came third in it, and they had a great weekend in it anyway. Um, so, Liam, when did all this start with you and lilting? Uh, well, um, I suppose I was going to theme classes with Edel Baham oh, in right, Koshi. Kilinora, uh, she's in the Kilfenora Kayleigh Band, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edel, yeah. And when I was only about eight, like, and she, I was getting songs every week, like, and she gave me a song, which was called uh, Miss Gilhooley's Party. Oh, okay, yeah. And there was a bit of Lilton in the song, mm -hmm. and then it kind of just took off from there, like, she said, oh, you should try that, like. So I was in the flat in the next year and stuff. Okay. And I'm wondering, you play the banjo and the flute, so your lilting sounds, do they, do you find that you bring some of those mimicking sounds of the instruments you're playing into your lilts or have you noticed uh, that? I suppose yeah you'd put in variations that you're doing the banjo and stuff. Yeah. Might put in a few triplets and stuff, you know. So it must have felt great to come first in your your home county, was it? The great that was great. Yeah. It's good. Do you remember the first lilt? I mean the, the lilt I sent on to you of um, Robbie McMahon um, doing the Mason's Apron, I think it was, the recording from the ITMA. Do you remember the first lilt that you started, apart from the one with the Dell uh, within the songs? Do you remember the first lilt that you, you started to do? Um, I think it was the Tullerie, just okay. the Tullerie, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hi, Aoife, how are you? Hi, I'm great, how are you guys? We're good, we're good. Thanks a million for coming along and chatting with me again. Um, the last time we met, we were chatting about your granddad, John Kelly, and his wonderful um, collection of tunes. And we chatted about you picking a tune for Era and Cullen, yeah. and that they were going to learn it and play it at the next event, the next part of the project when we, we get to, to see you again. So we're all excited to hear what tune you, you decided Great, it's a lovely old tune. It's called the Old Concertina Reel. Uh, some people call it John Kelly's Concertina Reel. So there's a really famous Concertina Reel that everybody plays on the Concertina. And actually, that is quite a hard tune to play on the Concertina. So I think it originally was played in a different key and then it changed on the Concertina. But this Old Concertina Reel is a really, really nice uh, tune. And um, it's really easy to play in the Concertina as well. It's a lot in the middle row of the Concertina. So Okay. Um, it's a lovely tune and um, I think a lot of people that I teach it to kind of get a little bit addicted to it. It's just a really nice tune with a lovely air and you kind of get a little bit, um, I think people kind of fall in love with the tune. It's just a really nice tune. Okay. It's a lovely tune, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't hear that that often either, right? No, you don't no. hear it no. that often, no. No, it's lovely. Yeah. Well, they're going to, yeah. you've set they're them a challenge to now that, to yeah. go off and, and learn that and, and have it 
um, on fiddle, you said, yeah, and fiddle, you're going yeah, to try yeah, it on yeah. the piano. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll play it. They'll play it for you. Sorry. Multi, multi-instrumentalist there that can play. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to try. Thanks yeah, a million for, for, for choosing that tune. And um, mm-hmm. I'm sure your granddad would would love all the work that you're doing and, and passing on all the wonderful tunes that he's collected. And um, uh, yeah, it's nice to get them played a bit more, you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, and to have different tunes because a lot of the same tunes are played over and over. So it's kind of yeah. nice to, to 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 have the other ones that we just play. So it, it, it's really nice to share them with people. I love it. Brilliant. Well, thanks a million, Aoife. Uh, we look forward to hearing it now and uh, we'll keep in touch. And if they've any questions, I'll pop them on to yeah, you. But, absolutely. Yeah. No problem at all. Thanks a million, Aoife, for thanks your time. Thanks. thanks. Thank you. Thanks Bye. 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 Um, so one of the ones that I was going to do um, is Queen and Adri Wera. So I really uh, love this song and uh, Irlo Leonard was who I heard singing this first. And um, I just thought it was very, very beautiful. Um, and I loved the the poetry of the words in it. It's about, uh, for those that don't know, but most will probably have heard it before, uh, it's about our Lord's passion and kind of from, like it says, Queen and the Three Vera, the cleaning of the Three Marys. So it's kind of from the woman's perspective as well, which is lovely too, you know? And uh, so just the poetry of it. And then the kind of old Irish tradition is tied in with it. So uh, long ago, there would have been keening women that would have like gone to funerals and they would have lamented the person that was gone to God and so the phrase oh cone would have been used so that features in this song as well so it's kind of like a mingling of the past and then the future so yeah so I'm going to give that one a go if that's okay <laughs> thanks Eva. Ah, Joe um, guided Dylan through the process of learning it and explaining all the important aspects in it and the different place names so that Dylan would have um, a wider knowledge of it. Um, Joe, you were impressed by Dylan and um, someone so young taking on, as we said, something so important. I certainly was, Trish. Yeah. Uh, his great potential, great future ahead of him. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm dying to hear, um, Dylan, you, um, you've been working on the lament for the late Robbie McMahon that Joe um, wrote. Do you want to give us? Are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. yeah. Off you go, Dylan. Off you go. As we stood beside your grave side and sang your soul to heaven, my heart with grief was breaking and I turned my head to cry. Now I stand here on my own, as the sky sheds nature's teardrops, with my mind so full of memories that it's hard to say goodbye. Ah, those great songs that you sang, they'll ring in my ears forever. Songs like the Red Cross Social and the Great Barge of Armagh, with a song that touched my soul, fashioned by a master wordsmith, was the one you wrote in 56 about that famous Ennis flower. How are you? See you well. Hi, Rachel. Good. Well, it's great to have you here, and it's been great to to get to know um, a little bit more about your journey in lilting. I, I had the pleasure of seeing you at Fla. Uh, you were a bit younger, um, um, much younger, 
Um, but yeah, I was very struck by your lilting at that time. And I, 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 I still am. And uh, the tips that you gave me, um, <laughs> I've been working on it, but I'm not quite, quite ready for today. Right. <laughs> you were right yeah. when you said you either, either have it or you don't. I'm not, I'm still working. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And um, the, the rest of them here don't think I have it, but I'm not giving up yet. But I'd love to get some lilting from you um, and hear that wonderful um, skill that you have. Okay, yeah. Sure, I'll do a jig. Uh, uh, Kevin McHugh's jig, I think it's called. It's just, I was already in the banjo and then I said I'd start lilting it. So, grand. <clears throat> Dum. Dum it was um it was so lovely to to have you involved and to hear about not only your music but your your grandfather john kelly and um his wonderful collection and um the wonderful work that you're doing. Do you want to tell people about your website there, just about the lovely work that you're doing and where they can find all these wonderful tunes for any other musicians that are here? Yeah, I made a website called, it's John Kelly Capel Street, um, .ie, because there's a lot of John Kellys out there, um, including in my own family. So yeah, John Kelly Capel Street .ie. I'm a web designer by trade. And um, so I decided I got some funding from the Arts Council and um, I put together a website that included um, every there's 50 tunes in it that Grandad played, whether he composed some of them and got them from other people and I researched each of the tunes and it's him playing for nearly all of the tunes um, on the fiddle or the concertina and then there's notation so you can learn it and then I did research behind each of the tunes as well and then also I researched, I went through, um, you know, information that we had in the family so there's did sections on Dublin and Clare and the musicians that he was associated with and Sean O'Reilly and Willie Clancy and the Willie Clancy Summer School and yeah so it has about a hundred pages on it I think so you can go and get yeah, nerdy like me and um, go <laughs> look at it if you want. It's a wonderful resource and the old concertina reel I'll hand over to Erin Cullen they're up there um, and um, hi guys there's Aoife. Wait to hear it. So thank you so much for sharing this tune with Cisa and to your granddad John Kelly for such a wonderful tune. It was really great to work on it together. We really enjoyed mm -hmm. it and it was great to kind of get a different tune to what we normally play. So we'll give it a go. Great. <laughs> Thank you all um, for a lovely evening and keep safe and well and I can't wait till we can all be in person and uh, have a right out Hooli. So in the meantime, keep safe and well and we'll chat time. soon. Enjoy the, the hot weather. <laughs> Take care. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Ashley and John. Bye. 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 Thank, thank you. you all. Thank you. Thank you.
Childhood.